thanks for tuning in to Essential RC. We have just had uh, quite a storm clear across uh, the flying field, but now we have a glorious British summer's day, which is nice because I've got quite an exciting product here to review. Um, this is the latest version of Zhu Zhang's AH-64 Apache um, RC helicopter. Um, I think this one's got a slightly darker scheme, but the main thing about this is that this is a GPS enabled version of this helicopter, which means it has uh, features such as return to home, so that if you want you get uh, lost out there, orientation, or you uh, go out of view, you can flick a switch and it will come back and it will land. Or should it go into fail safe, for example, and lose radio signal, it will, um, it will return to home and land. So all of those features. And you might wonder, what, what is the point of having that? Um, well, it's, it is good in a way, a good safety feature, but the other great thing is that um, this comes with FPV. This comes with uh, an analog FPV camera and video transmitter that you can mount underneath the helicopter so you can fly it FPV with a set of analog goggles, which don't come with it, but you can get quite cheaply these days. Um, yeah, so it's another great advance on this really nice looking scale AH-64 helicopter. So let's take the, open the case and let's see what we get. So here we go, you get this nice case, that's the, the first thing. You get the instruction manual and then lift that up and it reveals everything that you get. So you literally do get everything that you need to fly. This lovely looking helicopter, you get the transmitter, you just need to put four AA batteries in that, you get the helicopter, you've got a couple of flight batteries and you've got the charger as well for that. those uh, flight batteries. You get um, spare blades spare main blades, I'm sure there's a spare tail rotor in here somewhere. Um, you get um, some rocket pods and some uh, bombs to add on the sides of the helicopter. Um, and then that is the FPV camera. If I take that out of the packet, So you've got the aerial, the video transmitter, and the camera itself, which actually mounts onto the bottom of one of the smart batteries. And um, you get a few screws to mount that video transmitter on top, like that, I think. And the analog FPV camera goes in that slot there. So, give me a few minutes to put all this together and we'll take it for its first flight. Okay, all ready to go, all the, all, with one exception, uh, and that is, we couldn't figure out how to actually mount the FPV camera underneath. So for this flight, I'm going to use just the, uh, the machine gun. I've put that underneath. Obviously, there's some way clever way to mount the FPV camera and the VTX underneath but we've spent half an hour looking at that and we can't figure it out so we might have to google that for a, a second flight but the VTX and camera definitely works with my goggles so it's a bit frustrating but we will uh, we will resolve that we can test this out without without doing that anyway so uh, let's fly it and let's see how it goes it does look fantastic though don't you think oh yeah Looks mean, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's my favourite one so far, I think. Yeah, and together with the with this, uh, you've got different modes on this as well. So you can fly in GPS mode, which we're outside is good. Otherwise, you can fly in another mode that just um, turns off the ability, the need to have the GPS. And I think it probably has a sensor underneath, like we've seen on other helicopters. So you can fly inside. It will also fly auto, auto figure eights or uh, circuits as well, so we can try that out. Anyway, let's get it in the, in the sky. So turn on the radio. Done that. That's on. Now 
Now, it being a GPS helicopter, we have to wait for it to get GPS satellites. I'm trying to see on the display. I have to say the display is not very bright, so it's difficult to see. Oh, that's better. Six. And having experience of flying uh, models, fixed wing particularly, with flight controllers that have GPS, um, you need a minimum of six. So I don't know if you can see, you won't be able to see this, Trevor, but it, it tells me... It tells me here how many satellites, and it went up to like 15. Initially it was six. So I'm on auto, uh, I'm in GPS mode, uh, locked, and I can unlock, and then we should be good to go. So um, here we go. There is a little bit of a breeze and that is straight after taking off and it's totally stable without me any input. So that is the advantage of GPS, it's locked in hover onto those that position. on the transmitter here that allows me to go between high and low rates. So if I go into high, oh, that should be high now, I've got much more forward movement so I can go a bit faster. Cool. You know what would be really cool? What's that? We get real ones fly over here, don't we? We do! do yeah! You know what we do? I can hear something in the background. We call if that was one. Right, now, let's try one of these automated modes. So I'm going to put it out here a bit. I'm not sure what it's going to do. So and I'm in auto mode at that height and I can flick up into, with this button Trev, I can tell it to do figure eights. Okay, oh it's, it's off. Well, there you go, it'd be uh, a test for you. <laughs> So that's figure eight. They're really smooth, aren't they? It's not bad. And then I can flick it down. If I flick it down, now it, is it cancelled that? It's cancelled that. And then I, I get a bit more height. And I can go into the button. Below, uh, if I press it down, then it'll go into a, a circuit. It should go into a circuit now. And it's a nose-in circuit, which is... I mean, that'd be quite hard to do manually. 
That'd be handy with the FPV, wouldn't it, if you want to uh, yeah. circle an object? No, you're absolutely right, yeah. You could, it'd be zero stress, wouldn't it? You just let it do that. with it, it's so stable because it's using GPS. All right, let's try the auto landing then. So you saw where we took off from. If we go out here a bit, I'm hoping it will do return to home and auto landing. I wonder how accurate it would be, because you took off on the helipad, didn't you? I did. So if it hit the helipad, that'd be amazing, that wouldn't would it? be quite impressive, wouldn't it? Yeah. So let's hope I do the right one here. Uh. And it looks so real, doesn't it? This could be a real one I'm filming now. You wouldn't know. Right, so I flick, flick down oh. on the rightmost switch. Really impressive. <coughs> it's about two meters away. Not bad. But that would be good in an emergency, wouldn't it? If you lost your FPV signal and you you know you wanted it to come back, then that would be good enough. So initial test of the AH64 with GPS. That's, that's pretty good, I think. And in our next video, we will definitely have resolved how to fit the FPV camera and we'll be back with uh, an FPV flight. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Trev on camera. The link for this is in the video description and the pinned comment. We'll see you soon. Bye.